Hi, I'm James Hill, founder of Uketropolis.com and author of Ukulele Jazz, which is a book, an online course, all about ukulele jazz. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get started with jazz on your ukulele. You'll learn some simple jazz chords, plus a magic chord progression that forms the basis of nearly every classic jazz standard. So let's get started. Chances are one of the first chords you ever learned on your ukulele was C. C is a pretty easy chord, there's no question, but it's not as easy as C6. That's the jazzier cousin of C. And it's just all the open strings. I mean, what could be easier, right? You probably also know a G chord. Now G sounds like it should be a simple chord, but it does take three fingers to play it. And that can be a challenge, especially for beginners. G6, on the other hand, is much easier. Just lift the ring finger. G6 looks like a G chord with a hole in the middle. Nice. And then there's uh, everyone's favorite ukulele boogeyman, the B-flat chord. And here's some good news. In jazz, we never play the B-flat chord. That's right. Never. We might play B flat major 7, which is B flat the way you always wished you could play it. No finger on the first string. Just let that one ring. That's B flat major 7, the jazzier cousin of B flat. Now I could go on and on with more examples, but my point is this. Don't judge a chord by its name. In all the examples I've shown you so far, that scary sounding chord, the one with a number in its name, that was the one that was easier to play. And this is really common. It's something you'll notice time and time again as you dive deeper and deeper into the world of jazz. In fact, if you can already play a B flat chord, you're probably overqualified for ukulele jazz because everything we do at the early stages is easier than playing that B flat chord. Getting started with jazz on your ukulele is easy and it's fun and it opens up a whole new world of musical possibilities. Now so far we've looked at some examples where common chords like C and G and B flat are actually harder to play than their jazzy cousins like C6, G6, and B flat major seven. But jazz isn't built on individual chords. It's built on chord progressions. And the most important of those progressions is what jazz musicians call the two five, which is what I'm gonna show you now. It's just two chords and they're almost identical. The first chord is simply straight across on the third fret. That's called C minor seven. And now the big moment. <laughs> We're going to change one note in this C minor seven, but that one note is gonna make a huge difference. So here goes. The note on the string closest to your face is gonna slide down the string toward the tuning pegs by just one fret. That's it. <laughs> you can play this new chord with one finger on each note. Or you can bar the second fret and put your middle finger across three strings at the third fret if you want. But this is the chord progression I wanted to show you. It's so simple and so powerful. We start on C minor seven. We change one note and it becomes the chord F nine. But at this point, honestly, the chord names don't really matter that much because you can pick up this chord progression and put it down on any fret and it'll sound good. Don't, 
don't get too hung up on what the chord names are. Just try moving this from, say, the third fret to, let's say, the fifth fret. That's a nice sound. And that is exactly what jazz musicians were doing as they were inventing jazz. This simple two chord unit of harmony became musicians' way of moving fluidly around the fretboard and in and out of different keys. On one hand, it's super simple. And on the other hand, it's incredibly powerful. And in part two of this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to play a famous jazz standard that does exactly this. In fact, you've already learned the first four measures of the piece, even without knowing it. So click on part two of this free lesson, and let's learn one of my favorite jazz standards of all time. I'll see you there.